starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. What time are you supposed to leave for the dentist? As soon as Mom's ready. How come Lux doesn't have to have her teeth cleaned? Oh, but she does. Doc Weaver cleans them. As a matter of fact, he told me it's just as important for dogs to have their teeth cleaned as it is for people. And I'm people. All ready, Timmy? <laughs> You're wearing a hat. Yes. Well, what's the occasion? You're just taking Timmy to the dentist. Well, I didn't mean to upset the household. I just felt like wearing a hat, that's all. Don't you like it? I like it. Maybe. I guess. Well, thank you, Timmy. Uh, isn't that the hat that I've never liked? It's the only hat. And it's four years old and it never saw Paris. Why don't you just come right out and say you don't like it on me? Would you mind? It just doesn't do anything for you. Well, I sort of hoped I'd do something for the hat. Dear, would you do me a favor? Oh, it's very possible. Can I go to the dentist office alone? Are you sure you want to? I feel like a baby when I sit in the chair and you stand there. You know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. All right, you go in alone and Lassie and I'll take a walk around the block. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Bye, Lassie. Isn't that an adorable hat? Did you ever see such a pretty one? Let's see. Oh, it'll only take a minute. Come on. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to ask you about that little hat in the window. Isn't that the loveliest bonnet you've ever seen? It's a copy of an original from New York. Oh, my. How much is it? We just put it in the window this morning. Why don't you sit down over there, ma'am, and you can try it on. All right. My, you're a beautiful dog. You know, I, I really shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> How much did you say it is? Now, hold your breath. You're going to love this. There. Oh. It was just made for you. Oh, I love it. I just love it. I can't imagine anyone else wearing it. You really think it does something for me? Well, I'd say you do something for the hat. How much did you say it is? Only fourteen ninety-five. Oh, it just makes me feel so elegant. <laughs> did you say fourteen ninety-five? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even consider it. I don't know what's gotten into me. I must be losing my senses. But, ma'am... I'm sorry. It's, I shouldn't have troubled you. I'm afraid I just can't afford such luxuries. Well, it was just made for you. Well, thank you very much, but... I, I, I really have no need for it, and I... Well, I shouldn't even have considered it. I'm sorry I took your time. <laughs> Goodbye. Ruth, I'm going to drive into Calverton to get a new axe handle. Anything you want while I'm there? No, I can't think of a thing. Okay, I'll be back in about an hour. <coughs> What's the matter, girl? Well, what's she begging for? Maybe she wants to go for a ride with you into Calverton. Timmy's class has an outing, so she's lonely. Oh, you don't want to go for a ride, do you, girl? <coughs> Stop teasing her. Okay, come on. <laughs> Come on, girl.
Why, that's the same beautiful Collie that was here the other day. You mean Lassie was here a couple of days ago at this shop? <laughs> well, there aren't many dogs as distinctive looking as that one. She was with a lady, a very lovely lady, in fact. Well, I suppose it could have been my wife. <laughs> she tried on that bonnet. It looked charming on her. Well, my wife's about, uh, well, she's about, well, <laughs> and she has sort of a taffy gold hair and a very pretty mouth and blue eyes. Yes, I, I guess it must have been Ruth, all right. You see, she tried it on. And she looked like a picture. Did she like it? Oh, she adored it. Actually, for a moment, I was certain she was going to buy it. She really looked like a picture, huh? <laughs> well, as I said to her, ma'am, this bonnet was just made for you. <laughs> Enjoy your ride into town. Hi, dear. How tall are you? Hmm? How tall are you? Between five and six feet. That's what I thought. Where's Uncle Petrie? He's out in the north field, mending the fence. I better go help him. It's gotten into him. Now, what's the matter with you? I wish I knew what you're trying to tell me. I guess I'm just not in tune with things today. Oh, Jenny. J Jenny, would you get me the women's finery, please? It's, it's a little shop in Calverton. Women's finery. Hello. Uh, this is Mrs. Paul Martin. Oh, yes, Mrs. Martin. I see. Well, I, I was wondering if you could give me some explanation. I'm c kind of bewildered about it. Well, I'm really not supposed to say anything, Mrs. Martin. Mr. Martin swore me to secrecy about the surprise and... Oh, dear. Uh, all right. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'll, I'll keep the secret. I wouldn't want to spoil it for him. Or for me. All right. Well, thank you very much. Bye-bye.
Bessie, where did Paul have this hidden? You have to put it right back where you got it. Here you go now. Lassie, here, girl, now please take this back to where you got it. Come on. That's a girl. Good girl. Shouldn't you be comfortable? Did you notice something about Mom tonight? She had sort of a funny look. Even if you thought so, you wouldn't say anything. something to do. What is it? All right, I'm coming.
Here you are, Mom. Oh, thank you. I think they'll do nicely. <laughs> the new hat looked awful pretty. But this will be prettier than the old one. Won't Dad know the difference? Oh, I'm hoping with all my heart that he won't. It was all my fault. I spoiled Dad's present for you. Oh, you had no way of knowing. It was unfortunate, but it wasn't your fault. But it isn't the same hat now. Timmy, it isn't the gift that counts. It's the thought behind it. Let me tell you a little secret. What men see and what they think they see are really two different things. And this old hat will be in the new box. Now it's your move. And you move here. Now it's my move again. Too bad. You made a wrong move. You lose and I win for the eighth time. I feel a little silly asking, but uh, couldn't you let Lassie win just one? Just for the principle of the thing? She really doesn't mind, Mom. And it makes me feel good. <coughs> Ready for another Lassie? <coughs> Can all play a practice game. According to the paper, there's going to be a grand concert in Capital City. Sounds pretty fancy. Oh, I'd love to go to a concert. Would you really? Mm-hmm. Would you? I already bought tickets for Saturday night. Paul. I wasn't going to tell you until morning, but there's something else you ought to know. I got you a little present besides. A present besides the tickets? Lassie, go on up in the loft and get the box. The loft. The box. It's the hat. Do you really like it? Oh, how can you ask? beautiful hat I've ever owned. Try it on. All right. There. How does it look? I like it. You look pretty. You know something? It looks beautiful on you. Thanks, Timmy. Fella has to dress well, especially if he's trying to impress his best girl. Wonder what's keeping your mother so long. Aren't women supposed to be late? I'm ready. Golly! Well, are we all ready? Ready, dear. Oh, no. We're using the front door tonight. I'm not passing through that back door dressed like this. But the car's right out here. No, it's not. I had Uncle Petrie drive it around the front. You're right. You look absolutely front door. And uh, now that you've got a new hat, would you do me a favor, please? Throw that horrible old hat away. Oh, darling, I already have. <laughs> Good night, dear. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Good night, son. My arm? Thank you.
There's so many things I don't understand, Lassie.